Hello, my name is Stacy Davis and I am a Senior Admission Representative and Designated School Official DSO here at Fairfax University of America. This presentation was made with you in mind. We want to make sure that we cover all aspects of the OPT application process. We therefore invite you to watch this presentation in its entirety as we delve into the process of applying for your OPT as well as the documents you need to apply for your OPT. If at the end of this presentation, we did not discuss your particular case, we invite you to visit our office. Overview of presentation. What is OPT? How long does OPT last? Am I eligible for OPT? When should I apply for OPT? How do I apply for OPT? What documents are needed to apply for OPT? Form G1145. Mailing my OPT application. What documents will I receive from USCIS after I submit my OPT application? OPT reporting requirements. Where can I work while on OPT? Can I extend or renew my OPT? OPT request form. What is OPT? OPT stands for Optional Practical Training. OPT is training that is directly related to an F1 student's major area of study. It is intended to provide a student with practical experience in his or her field of study during or upon completion of a degree program. If granted by USCIS, OPT will be given initially for a duration of 12 months. Am I eligible for OPT? To be eligible, you must be in valid F1 status for at least one academic year at the time of OPT application. At FXUA, one academic year is consecutive enrollment in fall and spring semesters or spring and fall semester. Intend to work in a position directly related to your program of study. Complete your program of study within 90 days of OPT application submission. Your OPT application should be submitted to USCIS no earlier than 90 days prior to your program of completion date. No later than 60 days after your program completion date. Any OPT application submitted to USCIS outside of these timeframes will result in an automatic denial from USCIS. How do I apply for OPT? Step 1. Any student applying to obtain OPT from USCIS must first register and attend a mandatory OPT workshop hosted by the International Student Services Office. Step 2. Student must obtain and complete all of the required documents to be submitted to USCIS as shown on the following slides. Step 3. Students must complete and submit the completed OPT request form via the ISS portal. Any incomplete form submitted may result in a delay of the OPT application I-20 process. Step 4. Students will be informed via email once their OPT recommendation I-20 is ready for pickup. Step 5. Students must attend an OPT package review with the DSO where copies of the required documents being submitted to USCIS will be scanned and filed in the student's folder. Step 6. Once students receive their new updated OPT I-20, it should be endorsed by the student and then a copy of the I-20 should be mailed to USCIS along with the rest of the required documents. Please note, USCIS must receive the OPT application within 30 days of the OPT recommendation I-20 being issued. Failure to do so will result in an automatic denial from USCIS. What information or documents are needed to apply for OPT? Application fee, two passport size pictures, I-765 form, G-1145 form, copies of all previous I-20s, copy of valid passport, copy of F-1 visa and or approval letter, copy of I-94 card or electronic record, 
official transcript showing your final semester as in progress, copy of your new OPT recommendation I-20, copy of any previous EAD cards if applicable. The application fee is 410 US dollars. This should be made payable to the US Department of Homeland Security in the form of a check or money order. Do not send a cash. Your passport size pictures. Photos should be no older than 30 days from the date which your documents are being submitted to USCIS. On the back of the photos, the following should be written in blue or black ink. Your full name, I-94 number, and SEVAS number. The I-765 form. The instructions to the I-765 form are located at the USCIS.gov website. You can also download the form there as well. Previous I-20s. Include copies of all your previous I-20s with your OPT application packet. Each I-20 should be properly endorsed by the issuing DSO. Each I-20 should be properly endorsed by the student at the time of the receipt of the I-20. Do not send the original I-20s. Here is an example of what your I-20 should look like and where you should sign. Please note, you can have the old version of the I-20 as well as the new version. We will also need copies of your passport. The passport must be valid. You will also need to submit a copy of your visa. Here are also examples of the I-94 card record. You will need an official transcript, not a student copy. When applying for OPT before degree conferral, students should be enrolled, registered and paid for their last semester. So it shows in progress on their transcripts. The OPT application deadline will be shown on your I-20. USCIS must receive your complete OPT application no later than 30 days after the OPT has been issued by the DSO. The date the I-20 was issued by the DSO is located on page 1 of the OPT recommendation I-20. USCIS must receive your application before the end of your 60-day grace period. This is an example of an EAD card. If you have received an EAD card in the past, make sure to include a copy of the front and back of the card with your OPT application. Form G1145. This form is optional but highly recommended. Use this form to request email and text notifications sent to you about your application. You can download this form from the USCIS.gov website. Make sure this form is the first page of your package. USCIS will rarely contact you by phone regarding your OPT application. If you receive a phone call from an individual claiming they work for USCIS or any other government agency, do not provide your personal information to them. Obtain the individual's name and phone number and contact the ISSO. For mailing addresses, if you are using express mail such as UPS, FedEx, or DHL, please use the address on the left of the screen. If you are using USPS, which is the US Postal Services, please use the address on the right of the screen. It is highly recommended that you choose priority mail to track your package. What documents will I receive from USCIS after I submit my OPT application? You may receive but are not limited to the following documents. I-797 Notice of Action, OPT Approval Letter or EAD Card, Request for Evidence, RFE. It is very important that the ISO also have copies of your OPT application documents. Please email copies of them to the DSO once the documents are received. You will also receive the I-97 form Notice of Action. This is an example of what it looks like. Your approval letter will also look like this, as well as your EAD card. 
Do not begin working until you receive your EAD card and your OPT start date has arrived according to your EAD card. Beginning work prior constitutes work without proper authorization and your F1 status will be terminated. If you are asked for an RFE, an RFE is a letter from USCIS requesting you to submit more evidence in order for them to continue processing your OPT application and make a decision on whether or not to grant OPT. If you receive an RFE, it is important that you contact the ISSO immediately as RFEs are extremely time sensitive. OPT reporting requirements. You must report any changes or updates to your address, phone, name and employment within 10 calendar days while you are on OPT. Failure to do so may result in termination of your F1 status. For address and phone number, changes or updates, please log in to your FXUA student portal and make the necessary adjustments. For employment updates, changes, please submit an offer letter and employment notification form via the ISSS portal. Employment notification form. You must work a minimum of 20 hours per week while on post-completion OPT. Work must be related to your field of study. You are not to exceed more than 90 total days of unemployment while on OPT. If you are unable to obtain and begin working before your 90 total days of unemployment has concluded, please contact the ISSO immediately for advisement. You will also need to fill out the Supplement to Employment Notification Form and submit it to the Career Services Department immediately. Please make sure to complete the employment notification in its entirety. So, where can I work while on OPT? You may work anywhere within the United States. Qualifying Employment Initial 12-Month OPT You can have paid employment, multiple employers, work for hire, which is contract work, self-employed business owner, short-term multiple employers, employment through an agency, as well as unpaid employment. Can I extend or renew my OPT? No matter the field of study, anyone applying for initial post-completion OPT will only be authorized to receive up to 12 months of practical training. If you are a student who will be graduating and obtaining a degree within a qualifying STEM program, you may be eligible to extend your OPT at a later date. For a list of qualified STEM programs, please visit ice.gov. OPT Request Form After you are able to get all the required documents together and are ready to submit your OPT application, you will need to complete the OPT request via the ISS portal. After submitting your application via the ISS portal, please allow seven business days for processing. Frequently asked questions. Can I study while on OPT? A student on OPT must be actively searching for employment and or working full-time. Time spent going to school may only be an incidental part of a student's stay in the United States and may only be part-time. Can I travel outside of the U.S. while on OPT? A student may travel on OPT, however, the proper paperwork must be filed with the ISSO. Do I need a social security number? A student who has been approved for OPT will need a social security number to work in the United States. The application for a social security number can be started by completing a social security application form SS5. How do I contact USCIS? If a student needs to contact USCIS for any reason during the OPT application process, make sure to have your receipt number ready. The number for the National Customer Service hotline is 1-800-375-5283. Do I need a job to apply for OPT? 
A job offer is not needed to apply for OPT. However, students must notify the ISSO within 10 days of accepting employment. Can I work while waiting for my EAD card? No. Students are not authorized to work until they receive their EAD card and their start date has arrived. How can I change my address once I mailed my OPT application? To update an address, the student must contact USCIS by way of National Customer Service Hotline. I lost my EAD card. How do I get a new one? Students must submit another I-765 and supporting documents in order to obtain a new card. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions, please visit us at the International Student Services Office.